The tape starts with about one second of color bars. If you blinked, you missed the two sets of numbers tucked away in the bottom right corner. Redditors translated these numbers into a set of coordinates that takes you to northern Louisiana, the state where the trailer implies the game takes place. The exact location seems to be far from the bayous, but there is a park with bayou in the name, like right there. Not sure disguising coordinates was the idea from Capcom when they added these two number sets which also translate to the RGB values close to the red and green color bars, but it may be a cool thing hidden by the developers. The first thing that caught my eye when playing was this long UPC looking number that pops up on top of the video. A quick something search showed that it was a part number for the old Resident Evil Director's Cut for PS1, and more specifically, the one that was packaged with the Resident Evil 2 demo. Wow, $5 off? What a deal! That's about the price of a 6 inch jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right! I'm sure Reddit has come up with a hundred different theories for this, but the most likely explanation is that it's just an easter egg for Resident Evil fans. It not only goes back to a version of the original game, but it harkens back to one of the original demos, which is what we were playing, and of a game that is currently in the works for a remake. Next we have this line of apparent gibberish. It looks like someone just hit random keys on the keyboard to make something that looked like it would be some kind of a tape labeling code. <laughs> Come on, we are Resident Evil 7 demo players. We aren't falling for that. It must be a code. So if you look at the characters and which direction on the keyboard you type to get to the adjacent letter, omitting a few, it forms a directional code. Is this the new Konami code? Or did I just play this demo way too much? The next lines just tell us where, what, and when. This is the rehearsal footage from the Sewer Gator show Easter Egg as they investigate the disappearance of a family in Delvey at their abandoned home. Finally, we are just told that this is not a standard VHS tape, but an S VHS tape. People online have suggested the higher audio quality of the S VHS meant something had to be switched in the audio settings or shouted stupidly into a microphone. Resident Evil. Welcome to the family. Jill Sandwich. Come on, that's just weird. Jared. One last thing to look at is the beginning of the kitchen tape. This loading screen is very similar, minus the different gibberish which I can't seem to find any meaning in. Maybe none of this means anything. Duh. Oh. 